uh, in conspiracy theories, very big. I mean, uh, the, the Kennedy shooting, um, the, the Kennedys involved with Marilyn Monroe's death, uh, Elvis, is he alive, where is he now, Adolf Hitler, where is he now? People having conspiracy theories. One of the great conspiracy theories, of course, is the fear that the uh, moon landing in 1969 by NASA um, was in fact, didn't happen, that it happened in a studio. Now, with me this morning to explain more about this theory, Pete, and to you, is his, this own man himself, Matthew Williams. Good morning, Matthew. Hello, Mark. Now, let me just put this to you. Um, you're a writer, uh, you are a writer uh, yes. for a magazine. What's it called? It's called Truth Seekers Review. Truth Seekers Review. So you're after the truth. Exactly. Now, would it be fair to say that you are skeptical of NASA's documentation of the moon landings? Yes, definitely. Okay, okay. Why is that? Well, there seems to be definite inconsistencies with the information that's been given out about um, the NASA moon landings. Right. Well, can you give me three reasons? Three of these discrepancies? Well, Say, for instance, now the, uh, the, the moon hasn't got any atmosphere, which means... Okay, which it hasn't. Yes. Um, so that means the light should come in a bit brighter. Do, does it? It does, yeah. 20% uh, brighter, in fact. 20% brighter. So if you can see stars on Earth, then if you're on the moon, you can definitely see the stars, and they should appear in photographs. Right. And they don't appear in the photographs of a lot of the NASA oh, I see. releases. So um, where are the stars? Have they been airbrushed out, or was it... Perhaps that uh, those photos were taken in a studio. Mm. Mm. Okie okay, dokie, okay. that's not a bad reason. Reason two, reason two. Well, if you notice, the uh, astronauts tend to jump about a lot. And well, they... wouldn't you? Well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, this mean, uh, this t taken on film means that um, you can obviously see the, the time that they're in the air. Yeah. And scientists have said that they shouldn't be in the air for that long because the gravity is a lot greater than um, is normally sort of... Than we've been led to believe. Led to believe, yeah. So it shouldn't actually take that long for them to come back down. According to who? Scientists who look into this, people from NASA. Ah, I see. Yeah. So those, those jump, that slow motion thing that we always prestige... Yeah. So there's people from We're NASA. actually moving a bit slow, do you think? Yeah, that's right. Ah, OK. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. Number and, three. Well, if you look at some of the photos maybe of the footprints um, on, on the moon, yeah, yeah, the classic photographs. That's right, yeah. Beautiful indentation. That's right, the first footprints on the moon. Um, mm, you've got very sharp edges and defined walls where the, the boot has actually gone into the earth. Into the dust. That's right. And basically what you have to realise is there's no moisture on the moon and any dust wouldn't line up like that. That's the type of thing you get with mud and earth. You don't get that... How do you know you haven't been there, Matthew? Well, no, I, I, I have to speak to the scientists who tell me these things. But, but if, there's um, no, if, there's a, if there's light of gravity and you go, poof, poof, it's not going to fall down, is it? It's going to start because it's like, it's like a helium-filled balloon. It's going to hang up there. It's not gonna, well, not for too long. It's not going to fall down like Earth. It's not... Well, That's right, but um, to have uh, more inclined walls would be the natural... So why do you think NASA went to all this trouble, then? I think there may be something on the moon they didn't want people to know about. It may be connected with UFOs because there's a lot of evidence to say that NASA has been hiding stuff about UFOs which have been seen on the moon and photographs which have been taken oh, I see. of these UFOs. What's this called? The truth is out there. Uh, truth no, seekers. Truth seekers. Yeah. That's right. All right. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's your side of the story. We actually have someone uh, in the building, in the house, right. um, who has, I think, a different opinion to you, Matthew. Well. Um, we actually are now going to meet someone who actually walked on the moon, Matthew, the second man on the moon, Buzz Aldrin! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Buzz, so fantastic to meet you. How are you? I'm very well indeed. Nice Hi to there. meet you. How Hello. are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Buzz, please take a seat. Okay. If that's okay. It's, it's okay if I call you Buzz. Of course. I mean, yeah. I, I followed, well, not so much followed your career, but I certainly mm -hmm. was there, there on, on that day, on the telly, watching. You were there. <laughs> On the TV. Okay. I was I was <laughs> virtually there before they'd even talked yeah, about. We it. were there. You yeah. were there. Yeah. Now, could you tell, could you say that again to Matthew? Turn, look at Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> could you just say that say that again to Matthew? He's from this magazine called. Yes, I know. Truth I, 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 and I, I think he needs to have a chat to you. Yeah. Could you say that again? We Buzz. were there. Oh yes. We really were there. Okay. Right. Is that it? <laughs> 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 well, okay. Let, okay. No, come on. Let's let's go through. Let's go through this scientifically, Buzz. Well, let's go through this scientifically. But Matthew's saying that we, we, where were the pictures? Of, where was the the stars? 
in the photographs on the moon. Now, is it true that actually you were in a lot of the photographs and Neil was taking most of the photos? Yeah, Neil was taking most of the pictures. But, but uh, early in spaceflight, you know, we went up there and we said you can't see stars during the daytime because the light is so bright that it causes the pupils of your eyes to shut down. And on the surface of the moon, the light that hits the surface is so bright that, again, it closes it down. Now, if the sun was being eclipsed or if it was nighttime on the moon, you'd see wonderful lots and lots of stars, just like you see stars here. Right. But it's your eyes. You know, if you dig a deep hole, I'm told, and you get down at the bottom of a well and you look up, even during the daytime, you can see stars because of your eyes, mm. even though the light lights up the atmosphere. That's why we can't see stars. The stars are there all and the time. And it'd be similar through the camera. Do you think the camera would react the same way? Of course. Because we're talking yeah. 1969 technology, aren't we? And, and, and television cameras as well and stuff like that. I mean, that's, that's old. Well, well that's, that's old right. You, you, you would have to have a camera that would keep out all the rest of the light, and then it would look up and it would be able to see the stars. Right. Why did NASA airbrush out some of the photos then? Because there's definite evidence. Nobody airbrushed out anything. <laughs> there is, there's definite, <laughs> definite oh, evidence oh, of, um, oh, of you know, things being taken out. I think you airbrushed it or someone else did. No, no, not me. Well, you so Neil didn't step down the ladder and see something and go, oh my God, look at that, look <laughs> at that, oh crikey. And they airbrushed that all out and they put that out of it and, said, and no. you got rid of the alien no. and then went back to the yeah. broadcast to earth. No. No. What about the second point about the, um, the hopping and the, the gravity on the moon? You should have been in the air longer. What's, what's this all about? Well, we, what we rehearsed in aircraft that could establish one-six gravity yeah. so that we felt we understood how we would move around. But until you get to that gravity field, you know, you just can't create one-six gravity anywhere on Earth because the Earth is always pulling you down. You always have that one gravity. You have to get somewhere and then create the one six so gravity. So we had a rough idea what it would be like. And those but experiments we, but were once it close? we got there, then we started bouncing around, and that was it. Was mm. it close to what your training had taught? Very close, very close. And very it was very to easy to move around, and it was like slow motion. So is the gravity, is that the same situation with the footprints and why the dust would not fall in? Or, or, or well, the, same? the dust really, it depends on the consistency of the material there. And we had no idea what that was like until we brought back some pieces of the moon and found that it was very much like talcum powder. And mm. talcum powder mm. will form those walls. And, it does too. And it was so surprising to me when I first put my foot down and moved that I took that picture of my boot print. And then I Good thought, photo. well, now did, that's, did you get it looks very lonesome. <laughs> Let me take a picture of the boot. Great then photo. Then you can't see the print. Do you get paid for that photo? So, so I no, moved my not. boot away so I could see both the print and the boot. And uh, do you get, did you stick a bit of moon dust in your pocket? No. For yourself or? No. Do you get the you remember the we were in quarantine when we came That's back. That's right. Because you're, you're we in the army thought stuff. there might possibly, Air very Force. remotely, one in a billion or ten billion chance, there might be some germs there that could be very toxic to, uh, to people back here on Earth. So that's exactly. why we were in quarantine. There you go. There's uh, Matthew Skeptic. What do you think? Um, he's never going to believe He's never going to believe it. And, and, he, and I can say all I want. Yeah. Mate, I believe you. <laughs> I know you were there. We know he was there. We saw him. Unfortunately, you can't solve it by taking a boat on it either. No, you know, exactly. That doesn't change the truth. Can I just ask one question before cool. we, we one go One short, quick question. What uh, is your opinion on Gordon Cooper coming forward and saying he's seen UFOs when he was up there? Uh, Gordon Cooper may have seen a lot of things. You know, I, I can't <laughs> vouch right. one way or another for what he's seen and when he's seen it. Did you see any? No. Well, wow. that's a and shame. And you'd, you'd tell us, wouldn't you, Buzz? <laughs> of course I would. Of course you would. Yeah, I saw a couple, yeah. he'd say, but no, he didn't. I'm Buzz, with, thanks uh, very much. Thank I'm you. with Gordon okay, Cooper. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Good on you, Matthew. And we now move across to Diane Ladd and Vanessa. Hey. Good on you, Buzz.